first time in a month, so it's a really weird day, but, um, yeah. So today I wanted to make a video on our chicken tractors for our meat birds. I'm going to give you guys some tips and tricks on how to build your own chicken tractor if you want to. Um, and it is my first time raising meat birds, so I want to give you my feedback on that and how I like the chicken tractors we built. Right now, they're like the two most popular chicken tractors, which are um, the Salatin style, which is 10 by 12 by 2 feet tall, and then the Suskovich, I think it's called. It's a 5.5 by 10 by like 5 feet tall. And by the way, I've used both these tractors um, raising meat birds before. So it's, it's my first time raising meat birds on my own on my own farm um, but I have worked in other farms that have raised meat birds and have used these two different tractors so the reason I did not go with the Salatin or the Suskovich I'm just going to say Suskovich I'm not sure what the heck it had to pronounce it number one the Salatin style it's a great design it's just really really heavy for no reason it's just it doesn't make sense to me um, so it's just a pain to move and you can't see um, when you're pulling it you can't see the back where the chickens are so if you're pulling it and you run over a leg you're just gonna keep going that chickens gonna break a leg or a wing it's not good or even its neck I've had that happen so so yeah that's why I did not go with the Salatin style because I didn't really like that version um, because of those reasons but then the Suskovich or whatever the heck it's called uh, it's a great design I, I love it. I actually, these chicken tractors are built off of that design, except in a different way that I've kind of modified. It's not a Suskovich tractor, uh, but I'll still give credit to him for giving me ideas on how to build my own using lightweight materials like EMT and uh, tarps and all that stuff, chicken wire. So I'll link his channel down below. So with my experience raising meat birds with the Suskovich style tractor is that it's just so tall for no reason. And it's kind of a pain because you have to walk inside of it walk around the birds um, and get the food and water if you want to have the food at one end and the water at one end which you should so they get some exercise because if you have them right next to each other they're just gonna get really really fat really quick which I mean it's good but you don't want really fatty chickens so yeah so that's why I did not go with that just because of its height I wanted to come up with my own design on chicken tractors because there's so many out there there's hoop coops there's tarp coops there's chicken wire coops there's PVC coops. There's so many different styles. These are great, great chicken tractors. I love them. I really like the design. They're really lightweight. They're not tall. You don't have to walk inside of them. You can see right towards the back when you're pulling it. And if it does run over a chicken's legs, which it has many times, just because, you know, I'm always in a rush, but I have not broken any legs compared to the Suskovich, where at the farm I used to work at, we would break chicken legs all the time because it was so heavy and it was so tall. The Suskovich has a lot more lumber, so it's it's a lot more heavier. The Salatin's even heavier. It's all two by or one by twos, whatever. So in July 2022, these chicken tractors cost around 150 to 180 dollars each, depending on what feeders I wanted, what waters I wanted, what tarps I wanted, heavy duty ones bungee cords, different types of wire. I know they're expensive, but the Suskovich is even more expensive because it is more lumber, and I think it's the same amount of EMT. And it's actually not even as wide. So it's more expensive um, to do a Suskovich than this, and you have to pay for the directions. In for this video, you guys don't have to pay anything. I'm just giving you guys my idea and showing you how I built these. So you can do what I wanted to do, which is find a great chicken tractor that works perfect for your backyard chicken um, and yeah so the main frame 6x10 made out of 2x4s um, they're hemlock so they don't rot like pine and they're bug resistant so I'm not gonna have any issues with ants or beetles eating away my chicken tractor frame so that's the bottom frame so then after that you got the EMT so I made this cage out of 3 quarter inch EMT yes you could have used half inch but I wanted to do 3 quarter it's a little more rugged sturdy it's not it's not very flexible, like half inch. Um, so three quarter is the type of conduit I used. And it, yes, it's electrical conduit. EMT is electrical metallic tubing, I think. Um, I used to be an electrician, so I use this a lot. And it's, I mean, it's great material. It's very strong, it's easy to bend. You can weld it, it's galvanized, um, so it doesn't rust. And yes, at this time it is very expensive, but I think it, I got it for like $14 for one 10 foot stick, which is, I mean, 
That's pretty expensive. That's crazy. And for each chicken tractor, you need seven three quarter inch by 10 foot EMT sticks. Um, that's how many I use for chicken tractor and it seemed to work great. And the doors are secured to the frame with hinges which are welded to the EMT. So they're not bolted, they're welded. They're very, very strong and they're not gonna rip off, trust me. And the whole entire chicken tractor is wrapped with one inch chicken wire. Um, I, forget, I forget what gauge, I think it's 14 or 16 gauge. But it's just your standard chicken wire. It works fine. It's stapled to the M-lock. Um, the only thing I would change about that instead of stapling it is I would pinch it with some wood. So I put the wire on top of the 2x4. So 2x4 wire. And then pinch it with some, I don't know, like 1x2s or 1x1s. And lastly, the, the doors with the tarps on them are secured with the bungee cord. Because the wind will blow the door open with the tarp on it. But we have a door with a tarp. So the feeder can go underneath so it doesn't get rained on because you don't want your food getting wet. And then the door with the screen is where the waters go. So again, that's easy. Just You see that door with the screen. Okay, water's there. The door with the tarp, the food's right there. I have a little bit more shade than sunlight on this chicken tractor um, because they actually they prefer the shade a lot more. But in the in this, um, we live on a mountain. So when the sun rises, it rises right with the bottom of the chicken tractor so they get I mean it's beautiful this is the worst day to film this video because it just poured out it is so like dark out and cloudy and windy but yesterday was amazing so a 10 by 10 foot tarp would be perfect for this chicken tractor because the, e the EMT is not cut at all it's just bent I go through around 25 gallons of water per day just to feed these guys and then the food I fill a full five gallon bucket and that takes care of them they're great um, they're, I mean, we're butchering them tomorrow, so I really needed to make this video or else I wouldn't be able to show you guys. And on the front, we have a rope to pull it, and all these chicken tractors are different. My favorite one, which is the last one we built, um, has a short rope, so you stand really close to the chicken tractor, but it's really, really easy to pull, because if it's a really long rope and you stand really far away from it, pulling it, it just digs right into the ground in the front. So if you're really close, it's a lot lighter for some reason, and it's way easier to pull. And you know like, oh, I'm not that big, but it's not that hard to move these guys. I mean, I feel like my grandmother could do it. One more thing is that we have five chicken tractors total. We have, we started raising 110 birds um, total. So we put, I think it was like 22 in each one. Does anyone have anything to say? Anybody? You? You love me? So weird. Thank you guys so much for watching this week's video. Um, I'm gonna try to post every week. I'm telling you guys, I'm starting to relax a little bit because, I mean, I do these guys at I want to say 8:30 to 9 in the morning. That's the time I'll go out and do them, and then I'll do them at 9 or 10 o'clock at night, which is when I end my day. So that's a 12-hour over a 12-hour day um and sometimes it's even longer but i work long days i'm exhausted by the end of the day and i don't i don't get enough sleep and it's really killing me so i'm gonna start relaxing and i'll make more videos just to chill out um towards the end of the day probably and yeah second cuts coming up guys next week sorry i'm not very good at this youtube thing i kind of forgot something hope you found this video useful um I mean, any questions, please let me know in the comments. I'll be happy to answer them. And um, remember to subscribe if you're new. We're just trying to get our farm out there on YouTube. I mean, it's totally possible. There's my friend's a famous YouTuber. It's pretty cool. So it's possible. It's possible. And we got the LT40. <laughs> I have not made a video. I'm so sorry. Oh, I have so much to do. But yeah, I gotta go do some stuff. So thank you guys for watching. This is our new Gator. It has 10,000 miles on it. Got it for a great deal. This is where the chickens have been. So, and, I mean, they've been up there. They've traveled, I mean, thousands of feet. But I move them 20 feet a day usually because I move them twice a day. I try to, but if it's dark, I don't because they're sleeping. So I move them all the way down here from up there. I'll show you guys up there in a sec. And then I turn them around. Now we're up there. And we're just going to make it to the top of the hill before processing tomorrow. You can see the difference. Oh my gosh, look at that. It's like such a nice green. That's where we just were all the way down there and they traveled all the way.
from where those hay wagons are. <laughs> That's a long ways. Just in two months. 20 feet a day. And look at the grass. I mean, wow. That's amazing. Just beautiful orchard grass and bed straw. Look at all that clover. Wow, that's beautiful. That's really nice.